Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to see how to generate a TypeScript client from your Swagger endpoint or the OpenAPI endpoint using nSwag or some other open source library. Let's get started. As always, I have created a blog post. For this example, we are going to use ABP as a sample app. ABP has a Swagger inbuilt into their application. So we already have a few endpoints to work with. Let's create a ABP application. I have a create. I have created an empty folder here, and I will uh, copy and paste ABP command. Make sure you have ABP CLI installed so that uh, this command. So, okay, we have our application created. Let's open it in VS Code. To set up the application, let's just run the uh, DB migrator. This will create the application and then set up everything for us. Yeah, the migrations were successful. We can close the migration and then run our ABP project. Our ABP application is running in double four three eight six port. Let's launch that and then see the Swagger endpoint. Our application is launched, so I will launch the Swagger. And you can see we already have uh, all the default endpoints available. And if you want to see the JSON, just uh, Click here in this uh, swagger slash v1 slash swagger.json file. Uh, if you click that, you will see a proper uh, JSON file. And you can see in the JSON file, you have paths and then you have tags. But then you just go directly to parameters. It's, it's actually a problem because there is no unique identifier to identify the, uh, to the path. So let's see how to solve that problem. So when you try to generate API endpoints based on this default swag swagger, uh, you can totally see that there are a few problems you can uh, see it right away. So, so the list which has a generic type is not properly listed here. This is a problem because when you generate TypeScript, TypeScript clients Based on this um, this description, it's going to generate some weird class names. Let's see how to fix that and also how to fix the uh, custom IDs for each and every endpoint. So before uh, doing that, let's go and check the blog post. Uh, I have uh, given a Swagger uh, extension to fix this, but uh, before doing that, I want to show you uh, how to Install nSwag, uh, you can use the npm package and then uh, generate the clients based on uh, this command. So you go, I will first, uh, let's create, um, so this is the root path. I will create a folder called app script. And in this, I will first copy this command and run a default uh, nSwag to to show you how the default uh, nSwag could look like. So the first thing is we have to replace uh, the input. So you will have a different input. I have uh, 44386 and then uh, the example is 44392. Uh, I will fix that, 44386. So we have our uh, input file defined. So I have installed nSwag uh, from the npm package. Uh, from the, so here is the um, npm install. So first make sure you run the npm install command and make sure you provide the dash G. That means it installs uh, the nSwag globally. Once you install that, you can run this command and I will run it right now. And what we are seeing in this command is uh, we are mentioning that uh, the nSwag should use uh, open API to TypeScript client. And we are mentioning the input as the Swagger endpoint. And we are mentioning the output as generated slash my project model.ts file. And the template I'm trying to use is Axios. Axios is a HTTP library which makes life easier for you to create HTTP requests. Okay, let's run it and then see the generated output. Okay, it says no connection could be made because we stopped it. Make sure your uh, API is running. Okay, my API is running. I should be able to run it right now. Okay, the 
TypeScript client is created, you can see a TypeScript folder here, and in the generated, you have a my model. So when you come and then check the types here, you will see uh, it has generated a lot of codes uh, for you, but the problem will happen uh, in the user and probably in the roles. So in the user and roles, you will have a number of ambiguous um, request names. So it will start adding one or two um, ambiguous names in the request. So you can see that you will have methods like roles to get, which doesn't make sense because you don't know what get to means. And you will have page result DTO of 10.10.context. These uh, weird names will appear as a type name because these are the type names which we see in the Swagger endpoint. So uh, if you come and see here, these are the type names. So these are considered as valid names. So you will see how to fix these names and then uh, create a proper swag, Swagger endpoint. Okay, let's close this. And now I will go and stop the existing application and let's see how to fix this first let's add a folder called extensions and in this folder uh, we will copy the extension method so this is the type extension which uh, creates a friendly ids and uh, it does it using reflection so i actually got this code from this uh, swashbuckle web api so in the swashbuckle.core uh here in this uh, package which actually uh had the solution already built in in 2016 so we are going to use this to generate our friendly ids so that uh, we can solve this issue and then use the uh, use the custom schema and custom schema operation so let's copy this code and uh add it as an extension method as let's first create type extension and in the type extensions i'll copy the entire thing and then paste it and now go to the uh nswag web module in the nswag web module you will see that uh you have uh nswag options so by default abp comes with custom schema id which uses the full name but this is the problem which because uh, full names are not always good. So we are going to update that with schema IDs with friendly IDs, which is an extension method we just added. And for custom operation, we will add uh, another custom operation method, which actually is going to take the controller name. So now our um, route ID is going to be a controller name along with action name. So this will create a unique ID for each operation so that we will not see weird uh, one or two uh, methods when we generate a TypeScript client. Okay, now uh, let's run the app again. Okay, our app is running. So now the things which looks like this right now will look different. I will refresh. Now let's go to the bottom and you see everything is properly formatted. Um, all the weird unformatted texts are gone. Every type has a proper name associated with it and everything is properly formatted. Now, when we generate, uh, when we see the Swagger JSON, you will see that the operation ID is API, ABP API definition get. So get is the action and API, ABP uh, API definition is the controller name. So it will be available for each and every method. So for operation ID here is ABP application configuration get and here ABP find tenant name find tenant by name and ABP tenant find tenant by ID. So you can see that every action will have a proper operation ID. So when you generate Swagger endpoint as the TypeScript clients now based on this, you will have a better Swagger client. So I'll go back and then open my newly created TypeScript client. And you can totally see the API definition is mentioned as API definition get. So it uses operation ID. So every new, uh, every uh, method will have a proper 
name attached to it and it will be unique for sure like abp tenant find name by find tenant by name and uh abp tenant find by id so as you can see the operation id is used as a method name uh, so that there is no more conflicts and then no more problems and all the typescript methods are properly generated and here you can see that everything is generated in one file there are a lot of configuration to play around with nswag you can check out the documentation but uh, nswag is not the only operation not only option to create um typescript clients you can also use something called open api typescript generator for that you have to make sure you actually download the uh, swagger json locally so let's uh, go and do that um, i will refresh this and then uh, save that as a file inside my repo okay i have saved my uh, swagger locally now let's go back and then run the open api command make sure you ran the npm install and make sure you have dash g to install the open api typescript code gen tool and once that's available just run open api mention the uh, input as uh, swagger.json which you just downloaded and then uh, mention the output as api and then that's going to be the output folder and then uh, the type as axios you can see that the api folder is created uh, here and then it created the core folder a model folder and a service folder and an index so what you, you can see the core has default or uh, core components of the api and then model will have all the files listed properly here so uh, each model will be created as a TypeScript file and you can come and then uh, go through all the type files and services will generate all the TypeScript uh, services for you with the proper requests. So you can see uh, ABP tenant service and then account service and then email setting service. So each and every controller or each and every uh, segment of the API is created as a service and everything will be combined in the... Uh, index in the index everything is exported uh, as and as a type so that you can easily publish this as a package or can embed this is as a part of your build script so that uh, this can be created every time yeah so these are a few options um make sure you install the npm uh, install to make sure that the tool is available globally and uh, make sure the swagger json is available on the path where you're uh, running your open api command and this will generate the open api scripts so the only tricky part is this type extensions so make sure you add this type extensions and then update the swagger with these two options uh, this will make sure that your custom schema ids are friendly and the custom operations are unique yeah that's pretty much it for this video um if you like the video give it a thumbs up and then uh, make sure you subscribe for the updates uh, i will see you soon in another video Bye bye